What's up, you tailgating motherfucker? Yeah, yeah this is gonna be a good ass time, time. TJ. Yeah, my man. It's always a good. This is my favorite fucking show. Ah, oh, dude, subterranean vines is a shit. Oh, hey, Bobby the Booby. This is my boy TJ. What's up, going man? on, man? Nice to meet you, dude. You Sorry first to camera in your face. Second death match. Oh, you're gonna love oh, it, dude. I'm oh, 200 light, 2 main event. The whole show's stacked, dude. It's gonna be sick as fuck. I'm so ready for it. Lil Lil, what's good, man? Hey. What's good, brother? What's up, bro? My man. Woo. We're all calm because we're not drunk yet. <laughs> what's going on, everyone? Today is uh, Saturday, what is it, the 17th, 18th? I don't know what day. Yeah, whatever, one of those days, 18th, 2019. It's Saturday. Subterranean Violence, Volume Motherfucking 5, Double Death Force. Give me that shit. Let me get my. Uh, you get the first week. Just bought that for like ten dollars. Just got the giant one for twenty. Mm. But it's gonna be a hell of a fucking show. And uh, we're gonna let little Louie go over the card in a moment because uh, I can never remember. I just know the main event's two hundred light tube death match. You can't I forget. never know who's wrestling. I just yeah. show up and hope. You just know. Yeah, you just know. It's, well, if it's, it's some trading violence, it never lets us down. It's fucking always a good time. Yeah. Right, Mike Fist Jazz went. Mike Fatality, get this. W went to the MMR barbecue like a fucking faggot. He wanted to. <laughs> he wanted to go see Fozzie and go and go like that to him. Oh like, yeah. Say, he wanted to be like, oh yeah. I'd rather him. be here, man. He wants to touch horns with him, bro. Oh man. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get drink some more and then we'll get back to you. <laughs> get him. Yo, that's how you that's how you uh, store the tubes in the, in the truck, man. Right through the center. In the truck, man, an hour yeah. drive. <laughs> You're lucky they did it, man. You'd be like, oh, fuck. You might want to wipe them down. They've been sitting outside. It's all right. Shit. Wait, does this thing work? Yo, that thing's awesome. That's a shame that's going to get broken. I kind of want to keep it. They're not bringing that in. So that's pretty vicious, dude. Yeah, that's, gonna, that's like a, something you want to keep to like decorate yeah. the room with. It can, no. If it lights up, you keep it for here. Yeah. I'm taking it home. All right, I'm a little Louis Ramos here. He's gonna go over the card tonight for H2O Subterranean, Subterranean Volume Five. Violence. Double death I've been wars. to every single Subterranean. One, two, three, four, five. I've worked them all. I've done what I could to support the boys. You know, tonight, Double Death Wars tag team death matches, except for one or no two actually. We start off with a death match gauntlet. Alex Colon and Matt Tremont, we enclosed the ring in light tubes. 200 plus light tubes. Wax and Low Life Louie versus Schlack and Dan. Oh, I can't wait. G Raver and Raven Havoc versus Eddie Only and Eric Ryan. Jeff Cannonball and Mitch Vallon versus Dale Patricks and Marcus Crane. There's probably a couple more matches that I forget. I don't remember much, but tonight, Subterranean Violence Volume 5, H2 Wrestling Center, Williamstown, New Jersey, 1041 Glassboro Road. Be here or be square. Be here or be square. That's <laughs> wow, he was like. Hi! Hi, Mrs. Ramos. How you doing, girl? I'm good, honey. Ooh, How good are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. You like his B square? B come, square. B, come on, Shout man. Shout out to Valentine's Be Day. here or get <laughs> fucked. Bye bye. <laughs> He's trying to be good for Uncle Jeff. Yeah, oh, okay, alright. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to try some? I don't want to oh, try any of them. You ever have a camera, you have to try some. You're on camera. What, what did you what did you get? Oh, shit. They like spicy? <laughs> You've already had some. Wait, Pete? Oh, no more braces. Oh, yeah. they're gone. Oh. <laughs> oh, they work oh, good. He's dying. He's dying. <laughs> He's dying. Here you go, cameraman. You have to try some. Oh, good, honey. Sorry, Sorry Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> you died. It's not on our hands. Sorry. Oh, yeah, dude. See, I love spicy shit, though. <laughs> Yo, that's good. It's Chad Epic's Holy Water. It's a ghost pepper honey barbecue. I would love to have them on some wings. Fuck yeah. Ten bucks a jar. Holy shit. Of course I sell it. <laughs> Look at all these fucking light tubes, man. Hi, Jake. <laughs> ah, copyright music in the background. Cut. Where's your hug at? You want a hug from me? Look, Wax wants a hug from me. Oh, I want hugs too. What's up, man? I'm so proud. Oh no! Party foul! All right, I got plenty of them. <laughs> Sorry, man. So, man, wait, is, is this your first time back coming back in the ring? And uh, this is 2012. 2012. And who are you going in there with tonight? It's me and Louie versus Slack and Dan. Well, you picked a great match to start off with. <laughs> it's going to be pretty fucking brutal. I can. Slack's been begging me. 
Oh, I can, dude, that's like a dream match for me, man. Just seeing you and Schlag going in there, dude. That he reminds me of you because you're reckless as fuck in there. I love oh, it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. You're reckless as shit in there. Come on, you were that's hanging around. That's because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> we'll go in there and kill it, man, and I'll you know to. I'll be talking with you later on after your match. I'll bloody the fuck up. Can't wait. He's putting tape on those, right? All right, good. If I remember how. Yeah, it's been a while. I gotta do my wrist. You spray painted it gold, you know? Mitch, this is Mitch's scepter. Louisville. From where? Louisville slugger. I do that same thing to Blair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah,
Hi, photographer ladies. <laughs>
Who's that? Uh-oh. Hey, Sanders, you're a fucking bitch. Whoa! I don't care. Whoever fucking else comes out here, I'm going to whoop your ass just as bad as I was going to whip it. Let's go, Tony Hawk!
Hi. <laughs> Make my way out to smoke. Make my way out to smoke. Room on the right side. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Back row, watch her. Yeah, Drew, let me see that fist. Let me see that fist, dude. Got a chair. Let me see them fist. Holy fuck, dude. Let's see that. Oh, yeah. It's gorilla, it's gorilla tape, too. That's my secret. It ain't coming to fuck off. Shit, dude, this is awesome.
like it hurts. Don't give on that concrete. Face, I'm good. Stand, stand, stand. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, guys. Stop. Oh! 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 Oh!
Oh, God! was uh, supposed to be freed long before that, but he just couldn't get out of there. Tied him up pretty tight. <laughs> Brief intermission. Let's get high. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. Yeah. The moon is out tonight. Full moon, man. Yo, some gangster shit. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is as long as the intermission, bro. Wish me a happy birthday, right? I'm like, how the fuck is that my birthday? He's like, because you and Dan Connor had the birthdays within... Wait, is your birthday today? No, it was May 2nd. Oh, all right. Well, well happy belated you and Dan, birthday. You, you, and, you and Dan, you can. You and Dan were... But I ain't taking 50 cents. I got to go All right, brief intermission. I believe this is before the main event, the 200 light twos, I could be wrong. No, wait, there's another match before that. Hi, Earl. Hi. Oh, you haven't given me any Iggy there. I got no backstage shit because the matches are happening so quickly. I know, it's a good show. I know, I love it, dude. I like the pace. What's that? 
Can I bum bogey? Yeah. I actually bummed this bogey from somebody else. Smoke it's bad for you, Brandon Kirk. You don't need that. So what happened, man? You were you were you were duct taped to the goddamn turbo. I, I saw you struggling. I think you were supposed to come out a little earlier than that, but I couldn't I, tell. Yeah. I, <laughs> I went in my bag and looked for scissors. I didn't have any. I was like so disappointed. I was like, All right, they're, they're like, oh, we're gonna lightly tape you. And no. Oh, they, they made it tight, dude. From <laughs> both of my fuck. Like when I got out was like shoot when I was legit able to get out. When I said to one of the students, oh no, I filmed you struggling. I, I said to my students, I was like, damn, you guys gotta be prepared for this, man. You got a scissors out here for that, man. Sometimes you can't get out, dude. You can see legit. You could not get the yeah, fuck out. Oh, dude, they dominated you. Uh, well, the match is awesome. You came out, came out on top. Yeah, so, well, hey, hit a fuck it, yeah. That's, that's it. all you had to do. You yeah, worked hard tonight. Your ear, John. Thanks, Masai. Well, you worked hard tonight, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Cass, you, you double fist in there? Oh, well, no, this one's done. It's pretty tall. Can I just tell you what an easy day I had? They're like, hey, you want to come do a deathmatch gauntlet? I go, oh, okay, sure. I had to do six matches in a row. They're like, no, no, no. Do you want to just come at the end and win? I go, absolutely. <laughs> I just, I, mean, came, I just came and got my shit and left. That's great. I think the only other person that worked harder was Brandon Kirk because he was uh, literally duct taped in the corner and he couldn't get out. So he didn't have to do much. Well, why did they duct tape in the corner? He got wrestling with Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got me! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, man! <laughs> Yeah, uh, wrestling Masada, he got his ear ruptured, and he legit is fucked up. So he's like, I can't do much. So they had to think of a way to like walk around him. Okay. So they tied him up to a cord. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, by the way, can I say what an idiot I am? I'm like, yo, I want to do something big for CZW. Like, they're gonna bring me in. I don't want to just do one-offs. Like, Deathmatch does a lot of one-offs, right? I was like, I don't want to just do a one-off. I want to do something meaningful. What well, what if I call Masada out for an over barbware? And now I have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. I wish oh. lots of luck in there, man. Oh. Briggs, I, I love Briggs to death. Man, he fucking loves it. He's stiff, dude. It's going to be a long time. Yes, day. I can't wait. I'll be there, man. And it's after TOD, so we'll, I'll do TOD, and then we'll figure out what the booking for that. So. Well, you know. I blame my ex-girlfriend for making me a glutton for punishment. <laughs> yeah, so fucking love you, brother. Love you too, man. All right, thank you, brother. Thanks for that. Yes. Cock and ball light tubes. You've seen it all now. Don't judge. I love the son helping his father out here. It's amazing to me. Absolutely love it. Love you, Alex. Now that's a cock and balls light tube. <laughs> Amazing. Can you put it on your neck? No, oh god. I'm done. Please don't die. <laughs> yo, Drew, by the way, yo, that match was fucking reckless as fuck. And I loved everything about it, dude. Reckless. Yes, you are. Reckless All four of you motherfuckers were reckless as fuck in there. <laughs> I'm not a reckless person. Now, Drew Blood, he's reckless. He's a fucking jerk off. <laughs> He beat the shit out of Chondo. Chondo stuck his foot in a goddamn bucket of glass. Should have glued his foot up so he could have had it all stuck to him. Does he look like a guy that's not wired right? Oh, he looks like he's, he's not your average bad guy. Oh, he's special all the way. Dude. He's definitely special. He's fucked up in the head big time. But, uh, he took the bulldog on a glass table like a moron. Man, took it nice. Hey, I was very impressed, man. Or would have retained it. Stupid ass Mark didn't break the pin. <laughs> stupid ass Mark. Where's stupid ass Mark? I don't even know where you went. I think you went here, Mark. Well, Drew Blood, thank you for always talking with me. You know I appreciate it. My hand is disgustingly bloody more than anywhere around me. Sorry to hear that. Because I can't mess this up. This is the Mark. I had a moneymaker. <laughs> this is what turns the seats away. <laughs> What is that, Mrs. Ramos? What is that That's thing a, that your husband's holding there? Cock and balls. A light, a, light tube, a light tube cock and balls. Light tube cock and balls. <laughs>
I've never seen a big white dick before. <laughs> Well, then you obviously haven't Mark seen mine. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I have it in one of my portfolios. I, that's literally what I was back here looking for. I was going to give it to you. Jimmy Chondo Lime, man. Steel diamond cutter. Awesome. I just want to say congratulations on uh, actually making it over I to Florida. So yeah, good. man. Yo, that match was brutal as fuck, dude. Yeah. That, straight, that shit was straight wild, dude. Like, no fucks given, man. Yeah. I love when you stuck your foot in the bucket of glass. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Don't let this guy fool you. He's a teddy bear. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, no I know. softy. Yeah, all right. Well, mostly in the breast area. Well, when he gets in the ring and he becomes, uh, you know, Jimmy Chondo Lime, he gets a little reckless. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm tr <laughs> what I found out earlier tonight, which might be nice, uh, apparently, you know how, like, when you were little, Kids would be like, oh, uh, don't, you better be good. You know, your parents would say, you better be good or else, like, Officer McGillicuddy will come and get you. You know, like, they created a little safe but realistic boogeyman for their kids. Apparently, a couple people email Schlack say, dude, I'm say Schlack's on the phone right now. You better be good. Like, they scare their kids with Schlack. I'm not joking. You should ask him about that. He's like, yeah, I had a guy email me. He's like, yeah. I said, you better go to bed. You better eat your dinner or else I I'm calling Schlack right now. He's like, no. I think it's tremendous. But my uh, personal project, No Babysitting, Only Schlack, which, yes, I really am making, is coming out. I need Schlack to babysit my kids, man, because they're a pain in the fucking ass, dude. Just all smoking crack by the end of it. John, I just to say thank you, man. It's awesome, man. And good luck in uh, Tour of Death, man. Yeah, why did I say I was going sh shirtless and shoeless? And barefoot and all that shit, you know? Hey, man. That's the John Dyer when I first came over here. Yeah. Yeah, you're barefoot. You got all fucked up. But I love you, man. I love you. Thank you, brother. Subterranean next year. But that doesn't mean that match wrestling is done for us for the calendar year of 2019. Andy Havoc has a whole lot of sick ideas. Why not bring it back this fall? Matt Tremont and Danny Havoc present the Magic Seven.
Throwing out the used weaponry. We don't know where to go with it. Ah, uh, we'll just lay it right there and perfect. Cut. Power up. Oh, spilled it.
shit, there he goes. Big scare. 
landed in my beard. Fuck. Sean looks terrified. He doesn't know what to do right now. Spider looks scared. Holy shit. Cheers to Bring this in.
That's yeah, fucking it's brutal, brutal, dude. Love this. I want to see you and Wax in that fucking ring, Slack. One on one, dude. Please. Please. Can I catch you with the fucking mouth with that kick? <laughs> yeah, that's Thank you for her. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
and wrestling prosper. And as a fan, I, I stopped watching. You I did? literally, I stopped. Because you grew up with the Attitude Era, yes, right? I did. It wasn't designed for us anymore. It wasn't designed for you. It was designed for your daughter, your son. It was designed to actually empower people and kids to be a star movement, which I fully approve. But here's the thing. Those same kids are now teenagers, yes? Yes. Those kids have grown up and their tastes change. In the last few years, you've seen more blood, a little bit more, um, I'd say, controversial stuff back on wrestling. And now we got Impact Wrestling finally under somebody to make Impact Wrestling decent. And then we have longer. All Elite Wrestling. Now we now. have AEW got yeah. signed by Ted Turner, friggin' TNT, and there's more competition now. You got guys like H2O, CCW still going strong no matter what anyone on the friggin' keyboard warriors say. You, of course, you got GCW, you got Limitless, you got Beyond, you got G you friggin' And then you have H2O here tonight. They're gonna I be just said H2O tonight. That's okay, the I'm first sorry. time. I'm not gonna friggin' Why are you cutting me off? I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> Fight TV, when said. they get on Fight TV, that's gonna Fight change TV. the game, man. The internet is one of the biggest things. It has helped wrestling, and it has also hurt wrestling at the same time. Now, it's opened the door a little bit. 20 years ago, you wouldn't know anything about what goes on in this business. Now, thanks to all the Dave Methel wannabes, you have it. But, also the same thing, there's a lot of things you don't know. All right, you can read a book, and I tell this thing to everyone. You're going to let me perform heart surgery on you just because I watched a video on YouTube, because I read about it, because I learned, picked up a textbook. I didn't go to school, I just read a textbook. So you fans think you know about professional wrestling without a day on the road. I just spent eight hours to get here tonight. I spent eight hours driving back home for another show in another state. I was at another state literally eight, nine hours away. You guys want to say wrestling is going somewhere? This stuff is what, you ask? It was disappearing? It isn't going anywhere. Wrestling is the highest it's been in years. There was 200 plus there tonight. Every time you go to Olympic to show up in Maine, there's 600. You go to Chaotic in Massachusetts, how many people always fill that place? Beyond running their weekly Uncharted shows, how many people download that and attend? Wrestling isn't going anywhere. PC culture doesn't affect it. PC culture makes sure scumbags aren't in our business anymore. Scumbags who want to send their junk to underage girls or underage boys. We, as performers in this business, are weeding those assholes out. You have all these old timers who've never left their hometown. And the best thing about them, in five to ten years, these older generations won't be around anymore. The same people who don't want people of skin color, who friggin' say they decide what their bodies want, they won't be around anymore. And my generation, the one who is actually accepting of everything that allows everything to go on, will be the ones in charge. So you, all you fans out there are worried about this going underground. We ain't going fucking anywhere. This is the best it's ever been. And 200 plus in this building tonight fucking agree with me. So if you got the time, even if you don't, go on your interwebs, your face space, your my books. Check out H2O. Get Fight TV. Check out AEW. Watch WWE if that's your thing. Watch freaking Impact. Go check out some stuff from the 80s with the killer bees. Go check out the 70s. Go check out WCCW, WCW, ECW. You have the world at your fingertips. Wrestling isn't fucking going anywhere. I can promise you that, my friends. And also, you know what? Because it is Mr. APMO himself, always putting myself over, prowrestlingtees.com slash APMO. And make sure to buy my shirts. Go check out the Middlesex Express, Rob Marsh. And come say hi at a show. I promise I'll only charge you five, ten bucks for an autograph. What's the, handi the handicap wrestler's name? What's that? The handicap wrestler's name. Oh, Dustin? The guy with no legs? Oh, no.
I need a sip of that shit, man. Give me some of that shit. Yo, turn the camera around, bro. Oh, man, man. Red light on, brother. Red light on, brother, Manson. Don't drink it all. Put it back in if you can.
guys. Come on! 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 Come on!
Stopped wearing sandals and now I'm wearing them to get the shows again. Worst time ever to wear sandals. With a young man here, you just told me he loves my vlog. You knew about H2O before the vlog, though, right? Yeah. Yes, that a boy. But a lot of people don't. So can you tell your friends to get on there and watch H2O? Yeah, watch H2O. My man. Thank you, brother. Have a good night. Be safe at home. Because you had one in, in your bundle, you had one hit me, I was like, holy shit, I had a break spell. I was like, ah. What the hell is wrong with you guys? All good? You guys good? What the hell is wrong with you guys? I love your response. It was, it was fun. <laughs> Dude, that match was phenomenal, you two. Thank you. Holy shit. I'm not going to lie, as a fan, I wasn't expecting to be that brutal in the beginning. Holy fuck, would you drop like 100 tubes in the beginning alone? You know. You know. Holy fuck. You know what you literally do? You wait for the end. You don't breathe in there. You don't breathe. You guys rest. All good. All good. Oh, no. You guys both had a gusher a little bit. I know you, yours was towards yeah, the yeah. end. Yours was in the middle above your right eye. Oh my god. I'm like, I'm like going, okay, oh, when they hit, they hit with 52, oh. and they're just sitting there with normal. And then all of a sudden, you guys started bleeding, and it just kept bleeding. And it was like beautiful. Nice story, too, not just a, you know what I mean? Like back and forth, and it was a great match. Yeah. Guys, have a safe trip home. I'm with this gentleman right here. What's your name, by the way? Alex Herzog. I just want to say that that's a real man right there. When you busted out that thong, holy shit, man! Only real men's wear thongs. What was that cheetah print? Real men's. Real men, yes. What do you think it was? It was a cheetah. Then that's what it was. God damn it. Okay, it was good enough for me. <laughs> It, it was perfect the way it built to the end, to the last match. Dr. Slack. It's either him or fucking Eric Ryan, I always do my medical bullshit. Don't you wear a shirt of food, pussy? Hey, man, you're still doing the circumstances. It's coming up, I understand. Even when you have back to back fucking I get in the fucking ring and I do what I do on the back. How old are you? I got him. You already have boys beating each other up. Yes. She's had a word for since she was like five or six. She used to kiss him on the mouth. How much free stuff have you got? Natter days, natter days. Whatever, you know what I mean? No, he has no idea. Hey, buddy. Hi, Daddy's okay. He's okay. He's okay. You're such a good dog. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for everything. <laughs> I hope I'm on. Really good. 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 Yeah, like, I know you were kidding. Cannibal, but it's still very much a real thing. Everybody have a wonderful night. Thank you, man. Jeff <laughs> Cannibal. Hi, you a Leave bitch. little future Miss C. Ramos alone. I appreciate you. I'm just trying to make a video about you. You're not even paying attention. <laughs> But you proud of your daddy? <laughs> you, did you know the stuff that this little girl said about Schlack? I did not say that. What did you that? say about Schlack? <laughs> Dude, you want to hear it? You know, I'm just going to tell me. This little girl right here, Ariana, told me to tell Schlack to fuck himself. You're lying. You said to F himself to Schlack? I'm lying. <laughs> oh my god. You didn't say, she didn't say that. She called Wait, my And then she said she gets C's in school. <laughs> and then she was like, go ahead, tell Schlack. Go ahead and tell Schlack. And look at her run. Yeah, I would run if I were her too. <laughs> I would never tell Schlack I did bad in school. This goddammit man who. Yeah, look at all this. Uh, recycle. Okay, recycle here. Okay. Watch the feet. Watch the feet, Josh. Everybody check your shoes.
Like, yeah, so like an infection, something doesn't get in it. I'm, just, just I'm real it. weird with infections. Like, clean it, I, it's just, not even that big, but I'm just wondering if I should. Just this clean one. it out and glue it. Yeah. Well, Louie's in the uh, back. You're all right, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I watched old On Point announcer and my brother, my younger brother, graduate from college. Uh, music, uh, engineer degrees. And uh, when my brother graduated from college yesterday, I officially became the only member of my family not to have a college degree. Well, you know, I think I proved them all wrong. All right? <laughs> Actually, I'm probably going back to college this fall. Just stick your pinky, you just stick your pinky in there. <laughs> Thank you, Chando. I love you. You're doing that with the TOD yeah, money, yeah. right? I love you. What money? I told DJ by the safety to pay me in like. Wawa gift cards, <laughs> which to be fair in South Jersey, that's no, just as valuable as cash. But did he, that's did actually, he actually, that's actually brilliant. No, no, Wawa well, sounds that's, great right that's now. Kind of but I mean, I keep making that joke, but I probably should stop doing it. Because <laughs> he'll pay you with that. That's great. Don't even pay, don't even pay you with But, but DJ, he <laughs> Love you, Sean I love you. This should be the prize this year. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at H2O. I'm with Andre the fucking giant here. <laughs> Cut! Danny Havis. So anybody can be in one, huh? Danny Havis. Danny Havis. No, what? Did you see Andre the giant out there? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Some with Alex Spoon here. He just came in, came out of the ring in a 200 light to death match with Matt Tremont as a main event for Subterranean Violence Volume Five. Death match boys, I believe it was. Holy shit, dude. I wasn't expecting to see nearly a hundred light tubes busted within like the first five first, minutes. Yeah, literally, first three minutes. No joke, dude. Like, I, I mean, I've seen the like 200 light tube things in the past in CCW, white beard and shit, but you guys just took it to a whole other fucking level. Fuck. That, that's a precursor, because I mean, we have tournament survival coming up for GCW. Two weeks. So, so this is kind of like my precursor to the tournament, so. Yeah, and for you to go that my warm up. Yeah, it's my warm up. I mean, you could have got injured, then you wouldn't even be able to No, you're fucking right. Yeah, yeah dude. A chance, but that's the chance we take out here, man. Well, you certainly fucking proved yourself, man. As always, Alex. I, I try. Love it, dude. I step in there. You and Matt here. Tremont killed it, dude. Thank and you. Thank I you. can't thank you more than enough, brother. The no, fan, yes, the crowd you. was wild. We loved it, dude. So, uh, what's in store for you before tournament survival, though? GCW. Heal up. Yeah. Heal up some of these, some of these wounds, and uh, just get ready for that shit. Focus. All right, cool. Yeah, yes, sir. My man, man, dude. Bullshit. Fuck you, John. Though. He's in tournament of death. He's sad. Yeah, yeah. He's sad. Hey, me and Chondo. You know what you should do? Love shit. Hey, Chondo. You know what? And, and he, he tried really hard to get in there. So in like, tournament of death. Yeah, I know it's crazy, right? <laughs> thank you, Alex. I love thank you, brother. Thank you. Victoria Pop. Yeah, I was just telling Victoria that little Louie got his braces off. You still got yours? <laughs> when yours can take it off? Okay, so you got a little while. Okay. Alright, you good, good, cut. You're a boy. Danny was looking at that camera. Don't look at me. I'm useless. Fair enough. All right, I'm with Matt Tremont, the bulldozer here. Yes, sir. He just came off of a 200 light tube death match with oh. Alex Colon here at the H2O Wrestling Center, mm -hmm. aka the Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall, during H2O Subterranean Violence Volume Five Death Match Wars. Double yes. double death match doors, right? Something like that. Something like that, man. <laughs> match was phenomenal, dude. Thank you. So, how are you feeling after that? I know you're a little banged up, cut up. That's sore. Sore. Glass will do that. But uh, you amaze me every time you get in the ring. You still, still constantly proving yourself, and you know, you don't have to prove yourself at all, man. I know you're all you're all fucked up, dude. Yeah, I don't think I do, but sometimes I like to test myself, see if I can still go with the best. I think you're at that level now with your company. Is like you don't have to come in there and like step the game. But you got you got enough students out here, wrestlers that support you, do like. But I always appreciate you coming out there, obviously. Like I said, 75 to 100 light tubes within the first five fucking minutes. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a lot. As you're exhausted, I'm sorry to make you do this. <laughs> you're fine, man. Um, nah, good night. Another successful show. Packed the place. 
So, hey man, another one in the books. And, um, hey man, June 14th, we will celebrate our three year anniversary. Three fucking years. Right man. on to the next one, man. Three fucking years. And then you said you're not going to bring subterranean violence back until 2020. Yeah, next year all done, but we'll do another, uh, as we announced tonight, Death of Magic Extravaganza number two. Yeah, you and Danny have it, man. Yeah, so that'll be uh, crazy. That'll be in the fall, October, November. A lot, of, a lot of good things on the horizon. So, yeah, good night. Went good. Nobody got hurt. Everybody went home and safe to their loved ones. And, yeah, hopefully we did good. Hopefully fans <laughs> went home happy. And uh, I got to get up very early. I mean, I wouldn't say we went home happy. I'm still here, and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting me stick around. Always, um, man. But H2O, as uh, we see coming up, um, I wanted to ask you a quick question here. I kind of mentioned this off camera. Are you planning on getting yourself on Fight Television here, Fight TV? It's definitely the goal. I think that's the next thing to get more eyes on us and get the name out there more is to get internet in here and be able to do live iPay-per-views. So, you know, and that's pretty much all that everyone's been asking me how can i watch the show online live so that's the next goal is getting internet in here being able to uh, go live on i pay-per-view on a platform like fight hopefully and then also launch an h2o streaming service have our own h2o network so right now those are the two big goals uh to go after to create those avenues to create more revenue help make more money get the name out there more so you know, because we're killing it in here. We just got to... Oh, gotta, absolutely. Gotta there must have been about almost step. 200 people here. Yeah, yeah, great crowds. We just got to make that next step to get more eyes on us to keep growing. What I think growing. Fight TV would be the next big step because, honestly, uh, yeah. as a fan of uh, Game Changer Wrestling, you saw when they stepped up and they got on Fight TV working with Smart Mark. I believe you'll be working with Smart Mark video as well. Um, it really it, it changed a lot because people that don't know about this independent deathmatch wrestling scene here they don't understand this and then when they see it pop up or imagine when you go on to uh fight tv as a kid and you see it, it's like holy shit they got at least about a hundred thousand dedicated people that watch fight i mean there's underground ufc there's underground boxing there's some of the most crazy shit so why not underground deathmatch wrestling as well yeah it'll be uh that'll be a big outlet for us so hopefully you know it's been the one big question everybody's been asking me so the answer is hopefully within the next you know three to four months or sooner We'll get internet in here. We'll go live on iPay per view. If not, you know, every show, every other show, and we'll go from there and uh, keep getting the name out there. All right. Besides all talking about your company here, I want to talk about the 200 light tube death match here that you had as the main event here. Um, as I was telling you backstage, I honestly didn't think it was going to be that hard. You literally, you and Alex Clone went in that ring. I think literally almost nearly 100 light tubes broke within five minutes. I've never seen out of all the, like, I mean, I've seen a couple 200 light tube matches back in the day, CZW, it's a big, big Japan, and you guys just fucking went to town, like, literally, we were covering our eyes over here, so much glass went flying over here, and I absolutely fucking loved it, and I don't even know what else to say, and surprisingly, your body is banged up, but not as banged up as I thought it would be, like, you fucking destroyed it in there, man. Yeah, sometimes uh, you got to go in and you got to give uh, people their money's worth. So hopefully everybody got the money's worth. And oh, we get more than our money worth every time. So Yeah, sometimes the boss has to step up and uh, get get a little dirty. Well, so. I like when the boss steps up. Can we have the boss step up as much as he can, possibly? <laughs> I will try to, yes. Well, Matt, true Matt, we absolutely love you and respect you to death. The I appreciate bulldozer. it, You're man. the fucking man, dude. I know you're exhausted here as it's pushing yeah, towards yeah. 1 o'clock in the morning. And uh, H2O, man. Absolutely love it, brother. Thanks, Thank you. No and I'll let you go, man. Always. Thank, Thank you, you, man. Thank you, guys. Don't fucking start with me. Don't what? Don't even fucking start with me. Yeah, some dude literally drop kicked him from my I have something to admit to you. It was caught on video. I'm secretly in love with you. It's not a secret. Dude, I want to suck your dick. Everybody wants to suck my dick. This is in the right. video segment. <laughs> oh, what? I like the way you back me, TJ. Did. I love you. TJ. I love you. TJ. <laughs> Thank you.